locomotive engine breakdowns and how to repair them with questions answered illustrated by Wallace this is uh, published in 1907 we're on um, 101 question 101 All right, 101, heating surface of the boiler. Will you please publish the rule showing how to find the square inches and feet of the firebox doors and flues with the locomotive? We presume that you mean the heating surface of the boiler is intended to include the surface of the boiler. Firebox are exposed to heat of the fire generated gases on one side, having the water on the other. Um, total heating surface of the locomotive boiler is, is the crown sheet, side sheet, flue sheet, back of the door sheet. The area of the front of the flue sheet is usually regulated neglected in figuring um, the heating source for the multiple length of the side end of the firebox by height and inches multiple by the length of the crown sheets and width of an inches add product together with a subtract the combined area of the fire, area of the fire door and area of flues in the flue sheet divided 144 this will give the area in the square feet direct for the heating surface over the firebox the heating surface of the surface um, if you lose is called the indirect heating source multiplying the um, circumference of one tube in inches by the length of the in inches multiplying by the product and total of the number of the flues divided by the product of 144 which will give the heating surface in the square feet of flues um, this will add the heating surface of the firebox and will give the total heating surface of the flue with two inches of the diameter with having the circumference of the multiple of two multiplied by three point one four is one six equals six point two eight three two and sixteen feet long with a sixteen feet equals one hundred ninety two inches six point two three eight three two multiplied by one twenty ninety two equals one thousand two hundred six thirty point three seven four four square inches heating surface of the, the flue multiple by this by the number of flues divided by 140 you will have the square feet of the heating and surface of the flues always figure the outside diameter of the flues as that is area that exposed the water and should be assumed that the grade of the level of the bottom of the firebox is the grade above the lower edge of the firebox the heat should be deducted from the heating surface 102 fill, fill, filling the boiler with a dead engine how would you fill the boiler at the living uh, if a live, live engine was near the hand of the plenty of the water was tender of the dead engine. If the engine was equipped with the plumb, the proper thing to do would be to follow, um, tow the dead engine in, up and down with the track with the water flew with the pumps into the boiler. The engine had no pump, whether either of the, um, getting the Check of the dead engine of the branch pipe live. The engine could be cold, coupled up to check of the dead one working with the injector with the fill of the boiler of the dead engine having the uh, uh, fill, uh, having the filler fi fill of the boiler at the dead engine towing, which was 21 by 26 inches. Uh, Piston value of and 17 by 24 inches slide value engine popped and plugged up in the cylinder cogs relief of the air valves overflow with the pipe injection with some valve with open injection throttle engine throttle placed in lever direction engine was moving with the tanks full of water which contain obtained the su sufficient um, sufficient vacuum to pull the water with the tender through the feed injector branch pipe the boiler through the Therefore, could not recommend even getting into trial, but um, better get ready to the to towed a terminal than waste time. And the theory has been left that know that they will work out of the successful termination of your difficulty. When experimenting with uh, these two engines, account with the speed limit of the hour, which could not make more than 8 or 10 miles per hour, which was possible cause of the failure to fill with the boiler. Boilers have been filled with, on this manner with a speed of the 12 into 25 miles per hour. It will be attainable for the distance of 6 to 10 miles. Lays the traffic and trains and engine crews expense and curb would more offset the advantages and less isolated ca um, case. All right, 103, disconnecting the engine. What else could be done with one of the most important passenger trains while extending the grade of 75 miles out of the on a trip? I first brought uh, broke a piston valve, and therefore I could not make, I could make a stop broke, I could make a stop, before I could make a stop broke, both the eccentric strap blades and link, um, link hanger on the side of the knock, uh, of the McIntosh blow-off cock boiler with a full mud, mud out of that blow-off cock did not leak. The broken eccentrics were moved. I could not move the valve with the back port open, so I took down the main rod, blocked the crosshead forward, took the train 108 miles on some once on one side, and made eight stops of the station, uh, eight stops for stations, railway crossings, arriving at 240 minutes late at the terminal. Something happened so that the brake cylinder has was broken when I got it, and I thought it, it was uh, that I did fine, but the old man cannot see. Um, 
that, it, that way we give this uh, me, will you give me all the information on this answer not being in the engine type of the failure um, being judged with above it would be up here with the eccentric travel the link of the hangar broke first which allowed the valve to move the on the full travel the valve to get it struck in the bushing broken ring into the port which was preventing it from being moved back then with the back port over the main rod certainly had to may, um, be taken to be taken down um, this, also, this is often a difficult piece to work with the track of the tool equipment usually found on locomotive of the resin time. It depends upon the condition of the rod bolts cage for the kind of the coming up under the observation rider where the help of the section gang and train crew more than an hour is consumed. They had seen the bolt sheared so that they required dry, drilling out of the engine and arrived at the shop. After we were, after we were ready to go on one side of time, uh, could not be made starting with the train minutes we lost that could not made up while the train time was consumed taking down the rod size the engines way of the train schedule the same or not given we are the uh, we are the opinion of the work we we are the opinion of that that work performed engine crew in this case was more credible than others master mechanics sometimes escape being placed in bra embarrassing positions not being on the ground having finger on the in the in a pick series delays like this the proper thing to have done would have been furnished the another engine if none was available with no fault of the crew then there would it as you could with the conditions against you we, we cannot criticize you your work. Um, the reason for the Mekatosh blow off cock did not leak with was not an account of the mud a, because of the check valve for the purpose of found in the seat of the prep air and preventing with the water from escaping from the boiler when the part of the blow off cock outside of the boiler shell was broken off. The back cylinder had been broken uh, broken and could um, not show the leak until after they arrived at the terminal, this is not uncommon thing to find cylinders heads um, cracked on the inspection in on inspection in the roundhouse. 104 pound for loose pedestal brace. A book with a, by McCain states that the low pedestal brace will pound one, one one center only and gives no explanation created by the cause of the watch for the facts believe that the pound with the back center. Will you say that it is right in the region of the pound is only on one center? Answer the engine of the lowest pedal bolt. It will pound most of the passing forward center when the engine is running ahead with the main pin and with the passing of the back center with the pound due to the driving box of the um, taking up the last lost motion and minimizes almost any, uh, nothing. Um, the, on the count of the jaw, the shoe of the box is to come in contact with moving away from it in the same direction the box when it takes up the last lo lost motion in the pound with the blow with the box strike for the shoe which is transmitted with the jaw frame in an intense um, where pen is passing forward center with the driving box uh, moving over the opposite direction from the waist. The difference in the pound on front and back at center centers is similar to the difference between the head and the collision and the two rolling, two trains running in the opposite direction. Rear end collision with the two trains running in the same direction with a different speed. It just has the easier row of the boat with the current and then against it. 105. Defective lubricator. I filled the lubricator and turned the steam on, opening the condensing valve of the oil ran to the top of the condenser chamber, leaked out and just at the joint that connects the steam pipe to the chamber. Um, also, the union of glow bob also um, between the lubricator and the steam box on the boiler head. All these joints were leaking. Please say what was the uh, trouble with the lubricator. An answer, no, at no particular make of the lubricator is given, um, we'll assume that the Nathan lubricator, one of the similar constructions should be given in, in being in this case is evident for the preparation operating with the oil reserver from the condensing chamber, it had a cracked or a sand hole in it, and the plug was let loose and label leaked, or the pipe leading from the opening of the water valve extended down to the near the bottom of the oil cup and was split. split. Either of the above the of defects would allow the oil to rise to the top of the condensing chamber, and if the leaks was greater than it could expected through the choke plug, the oil would naturally rise to the top of the condensing um, chamber and leak out the joints as stated. 106. Um, valve tra travel and throw of the eccentric. Is it not travel the valve of the locomotive and, and the same as the throw of the eccentric? Answer, when the upper and lower rocker arms are equal length with the direct motion over the valve with the water link of the arm, same, full, same length with the valve travel the equal through the eccentric with the full gear and practice for the increase of the degree for the travel of the valve the having a valve arm longer than the link arm and increase of the travel of the valve arm shorter than the link arm and decrease of the difference between the two of the, the valve of the rows, the eccentric will be in portion of their lengths. 
107 length of the, of the cylinders. I noticed that when the bushing was removed of the cylinder of the 2026 20 by 20 26 engine, the bushing was 34 inches long. Now I would like to know why the engine was called the 2026 20 inch of the engine cylinder engine when the cylinder is 40 inches long. Answer, the length of the cylinder is usually stated with the stroke of the piston, a lot, a lot, although the rail of the length of the cylinder is distance between the cylinder head of the engine and having 26 inches stroke, possible of the piston and the head of the 5 and 5 quarters of an inch thick, with at least 1 quarter inch clearance at each end of the stroke of the Total clearance of one half. The engines that were going over the road by taking the measurement outside of the cylinder casing of the proper method would have been to measure the distance center of the axle to the center of the crank pin and multiply this by two, which would give the correct length of the stroke. 108 testing steam plant pipe joints. What is the most accurate method of testing the steam pipe joints from the leaks of the engine falls fails from for steam for the reason of the thinking that they are leaking? Answer. Leaking steam pipe usually indicate the pressure running up at the blowout point with the sooner the throttle is closed instead of having the bright fire, bright fire um, with the, when the engine block is working with it will burn dull red and smoke and fire, smoky fire. The pointer go over go, the pointer going over fireman's side cab. A very good way to make the test is re, um, remove the petticoat of draft pipe at the front end of the so equipped place the board and piece the above sheet of rubber above over the nozzle tip on the rubber between the board and the nozzle ensure that the tight joint set a jack on this and place the bar lengthwise in the smoke box under the stack tighten the jack and then you, uh, until sufficient pressure is but on the border of the board to hold the water this can then connect the boiler with the water steam at the roundhouse open the throttle fill the broader boiler with water put on the pressure with the pipe thereby obtaining the desired water pressure on the pipe joints as well as the joint of the base for the exhaust pipe if it leaks excite Exists put joint pipe in will direct the water running out of the lake as sure of doing things done right. All right, one hundred nine leaky steam pipe joints. I am I am fire I am firing a switch engine with giving all the kinds of trouble the leaky spike pipe steam pipe joints. The engine um, has been taken in uh, taken in in the joints reground, but they will not stay tight. Will you please see say why? If the joints are grounded fit properly, the tighten that they should be remaining tight and the, the road engine is double header. So for the, for the subject of the road usage of the frequent, given the trouble of the nature due to the stress and the shut, it's caused by the leading engine tending to loosen the frame of the wall from the cylinder from the cylinder or, or the cylinders from the smoke box. Switch engine does not do, um, switch engine doing most of all of the work with the front end of the subject with the same condition, the second engine with the double header surface. A loose cylinder cylinder saddle that is not securely bolted to the smoke box will um, soon work with the joint loose as in such case for the and such so is the case. Remove the cause of the remaining out of the bolts and then applying the new bolts that would fit and hold the parts rigged with the boiler with a fast and struck expansion buckle to the plates is also liable to give trouble. If the mud ring is at the top of the frame with a few drops of oil, occasional expansion plates need in the relief of the preventing of the, of the mud ring. Or 110 king rounds in the position of mechanical examination of one of the or one of our firemen had his position clipping of the railway publication which stated the rod should never be keyed up on the center even with the pin perfectly round but bound unless the valve has no lead 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 or there will there will be pressure in one way with the other with the pin with the energy pressure pretty sure that either the key is too much or too little according to whether the pressure is in which of the or against the key too much means hot bearing and too little a pound this of course of on the sub 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 Supposition: um, The road is the rod is keyed on up when the engine is hot. When the pin on, when the pin on the quarter of the parts ports covered with the conditions, always save the even for a new pin with a worn pin. There is no question with the quarter being in the proper position. I failed to agree with the brother, and we decided to refer to the question yet for you to you for reply. Answer would say the reply if two of the above of the throttle should be grounded in, but if you desire to key up the rod, the engine should be placed on the center of the side with the key all braces, br br brasses, except for the front end of the main rod, relieve the pressure of the cylinder by the opening cylinder cog of the placing the packing hook and the iron under the air valve, the raising it from its seat, allowing the pressure to escape, and then driving the key to the can bring the, br br bring the brass and the rod can be shaken onto the point. If not driven, the key will until you can shake up the rod and the pin will be to run off, run cool. If the brace brass is filled square with the pin um, properly lubricated, at least where on the pin will, is when the engine on the center. Therefore, the last diameter if in the brass will not pinch 
the pin in at largest diameter, it will not pound or run hot for the brass is in pushing and pulling in the small diameter. The correct answer to the question is to the key of the rod the largest diameter of the pin, but the care should be taken to observe the tightening of the set of screws of the keys does not pull the key down. If the brasses are filled open, see the brasses is loose and on the pin open on the pin before you get in the cab. All right, with 111, obstructive flow of steam to the ejectors. I am firing 10-wheel engine cylinder with a 21 26 inches. Um, everything goes all right with the necessary to put the second injector to work to keep the water in the boiler. The throttle begins to renew. The one will work the satisfactory will throw water on the ground, but one injector will work at a time. On the either side, the injector has been changed rapidly for the same result. The main steam valve with the turret combined with the valve is wide open with the boiler attachments, such as the boiler lubricator air pump that will, all, will work all right, but it is trouble. Answer. Um, in the evident the trouble is not the injector that will work on the, with the right, even with the open one of the use at a time. The reason for this is force the water into the boiler that is caused by some obstruction. Figure 1 shows the obstructive flow of the steam injector throttle. Um, throttle. The steam from the steam, the steam pipe leads. Stuff with the must have been drop the steam pipe, which obstructs the flow of the steam of the boiler injector throttle to the area of the opening leading from the boiler to the main valve is large enough to equal combined area of the valves from the other boiler attachments. This trouble sometimes occurs when from the use of the combination of the valves designed the safety case from, and say, from a safety case from the accident to illustration shows valves in the same extract exact or extract exterior appearance. Know that one of the single valves in figure one, which is the fastest stem, can be opened with a wide open raising one and a quarter inch for them on the seat of the every inch from the diameter. If then, then give them the turn two will do no harm. But other figure two will um, uh, will double the valve and should only open with the middle position shown with the cut. Should the valve be open with the same as the other is, and obvious if the spring under the lower of the valve would force it in the seat, reduce the flow of the steam, and if it did not work, did not shut entirely, the bolt injectors would not work at the same time. Because that you would not be have enough steam to do the business, the effect of the restriction would not be apparent over the action of the lower air pump of the lubricator, as though, although they, they get a liberal supply of steam to the turret, that will work much better. All right, 112 sound waves. What makes sound from the bell? The um, answer, the surrogate of the bell is caused by the heavy iron clamp of the striking the rim of the bell near the mouth setting of the molecule of the bell, metal, metal, bell metal vibrating in the mass. The mass vibration is transmitted to the car with the vibration of the air. So as they leave the bell and the waves sound um, similar to the move waves of the water caused by the dropping of stone and other substances into the bottom of water that is imperfectly still. The wave is produced by the force for the, um, with the object of the striking the water and displacement with the setting of the water valves out from their out from them uh, from where they were first formed and vib vibrated as they expand they become less and less um, until the wave is lost in imperceptibility figure the sound wave of the bell um, be bell being, being compared carried to the vibration air in the same manner they are lost 113 locomotive whistles what makes the whistle on the locomotive sound the seam cutting on the edge of the whistle or bell or not Yes, the bell of the whistle should be direct, direct, um, come directly over the circular opening of the cup of the, the seam escaping from the circular opening with the strike of the thin edge of the bell to give the bell um, of the whistle vibrating motion generates the deep sound of the tone being dependent on the length of the bell and the barrel of the whistle. The long barrel whistles give the whistle vibrations will be longer and terminated with the chorus of the bull whistle. And by placing the block inside of the barrel, the produced by a uh, length of the, w of the whistle will be more shrill and ear splitting with the vibrations are shorter. The chime whistle can uh, insist of the bell of the three compartments of a different length with produce the three distinct tones, pinch of the first and third and fifth tones of the musical scale, which gives agreeable, agreeable muscle cord over the vibration each of the blender can gather. 114 equalizing valve travel. In, in, in running over the side valve of the locomotive with the full gear to the full travel of the valve, that the travel of the valve should be 5 inches. It should be forwarded to the gear 4 and 3 quarters inch and travel the back of the gear of the 5 and 1 quarter inch. Um, how would you adjust the eccentric blades to make to make it show up with 5 inches on both gears? Some of the valve of the travel lines would not equal distance porting opening lines. How should they be adjusted to make it equal on both? 
Answer the question is just a little mix. A little mix. If the valve with the travel of the forward motion should be five inches from the back motion, given the valve with a quarter inch less travel of the wood, the trouble be the back motion eccentric is not having the same throw of the forward motion eccentric. If the question is correct, with the back motion eccentric on the side of the engine was not bored out properly, measure the lead distance between the bore and the outside face for the greater distance between the bore and the outside face for the eccentric. The difference for the throw of the eccentric equal travel of the valve in the ro of the rocker arms. And, uh, sorry, and valve and if the rocker arms stayed in the length or are the same length, measure them and see if the eccentrics have the same throw. If not changed, then travel the valve with the same both motions. Now, with the eccentrics have the same throw, with the advanced tour of the pin almost at the lap of the valve, plus the leave, the eccentrics are all right. We'll know the assume of the conditions as above stated in the running of the valve as we find the valves closed to the steam port, cut off the emission of the steam in the front end of the, the cylinder, which for the piston is moved with the back of the four and three quarters inch, cut off and closed steam port, loading the back end of the cylinder when the piston has removed. Moved Moved ahead of about five and a quarter inches of the forward motion. We desire to have the valve cut off with the steam engine at five inches at each end of the cylinder. Five inches of the adjust the eccentric blade to bring the valve in line, line with the edge of the steam port. This should give it about five inches cut off at the each end of the cylinder. Remember the eccentric is to give the valve the travel and the eccentric rod blades are adjustable, equalizing the travel of the valve in the same distance to each side of the line drawn from the center of the seat. Length or shortening of them at the case may require give equal travel to each side of the center line. What becomes necessary is to line down, line down the uh, edge while the linear put. Why, why is the linear put behind the wedge but nothing but put behind the shoe? Should not the, both the shoe and the wedge be lined up with the wheels of the tram? Does the shoe not wear this fast with the wedge? If not, why not? And the reason of lying down a wedge is usually because of the push up and so far that it strikes the frame and it cannot be set further to keep the box from pounding, making a thicker placing in line on the back of the wedge fills it up with the space between the box and the jaw and can again adjust to take up the wear when the trams only for the purpose of the keeping each pair of the wheels square when the frame eat after the engine has left the shop. It is necessary to tram all the wheels with the wedge and lined up with the engine running train running true if the liners were put between the shoe. And the jaw would be necessary for the train wheels and ensure that the good job of the bridge rule where the engine is running the head of doing the greatest amount of the work in the forward motion, the shoe would wear faster than the wedge. 116. Water splitting in the boiler. What caused of this? The several years ago, I was firing one of the older Roger engines on the PFD, PFWC and um, running down the slight, uh, slight, slight grade using the, some of the steam lever that second was down to center, but the engine was pumping up. Her up and getting it ready with a big hill with the head ahead of us when the three gauge cocks with no water glass, one trying to lower the cock with the found of the dry seam, and without closing it, it opened the upper gauge of the cock, found the solid water, and they called the attention to it. While we were taking conditions, we reversed the visa and water at the lower and dry seam at the upper cock. Neither of us, um, neither of us, of us had um, heard of such a thing before. It changed that three times while they were looking at it. Then they closed with them. Nothing happened. We tried to repeat it. At, we tried it, it repeatedly afterwards at the same place. Never saw it again. Boiler had been washed out only a couple of days before, and we had good water. Please explain. Answer: They might be. They might come under the head of the with the term the water splitting of in the boiler. The rudder header, header of the water being split. Um, some being so late that in some instances that the seam would get under it and hold it in, in suspension, but in an only rare case that there is no better way to determine the water level in the boiler than with the ordinary gauge cock with a free opening with the inside of the boiler, although sometimes they are located behind the crow foot or the brace that interferes with the proper the working. In such of the case, the hole drilled through the brace in the boiler, it might become stopped, on, uh, stopped up opposite gauge cock. And the steam would leak down between the boiler head and the brace of the inside, which perhaps the cause of the flu, uh, flu, flu, flutter of the steam of the water to chill the gauge cock wouldn't open. In bad water locality, on, on account of the bubbles in the water, we might great, um, get a condition of the kind of occasionally. But where the good water is used, we are unable to explain it. If we could give you a good, a clear explanation of this case, it would be difficult to determine at any time if the crown sheet was scorched on account of low water. 117 temperature of the pound and pressure will the temperature steam get be greater than 200 pounds than 100 pounds of than 100 at 100 pounds of pressure temperature or saturated steam steam in the contact with the water which is generated at atmospheric pressure of 212 degrees fahrenheit 100 pounds of pressure square inch temperature of 333 337.8 degrees and 200 pound pressure per square inch is at 387.8 degrees steam in locomotive boiler is saturated steam the temperature depends on the pressure 118 
front head of the cylinder. Please inform me with this the front head of the cylinder out of the quarter with the locomotive standing in the piston rod was always with the um, way out of the cylinder over the right side and the front over the head of the locomotive is the head nearest to the pilot with the back head is one of the nearest of the cranks to avoid mistake when they could be specified with the front cylinder head with the crank cylinder head. Um, the, there's this term is you the type of the stationary practice that is called for the black cylinder head with the crank cylinder head. But on the locomotive, there's known as the front end, um, front end back head. Then one of the piston is all the way out of the back cylinder head with the right side of the engine would be able to right back center. At the right side of the, of the leads, lead one quarter with the turn of the revolution. The left side would be lower quarter than the piston on the right side of the back center. All right, 119, maximum tension of the water. Will the maximum tension of the water exceed 212 degrees Fahrenheit? With a, for instance, for the temperature greater than 200 pounds steam pressure than the 100 pounds pressure? Answer, yes. When the water is placed on the open vessel with the, over the flat and flame of the fire with the molecule of the water with are in contact with the parts of the vessel, absorb the heat as they heat it to become lighter with the rise of the surface of the air contained in the water driving off of the contained application for the, of the heat and with the moles, molecules to rise more rapidly with the body of the water, overcoming the pressure of the surface, escaping the form of the gas and steam as sea level, the pressure atmospheric 14.7 pounds per square inch water will begin to boil at a temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The fair, and high temperature of the surface of the water increase will require the high temperature to reach the boiling point and the pressure to decrease the water will boil at a lower temperature if they could get the high enough on the mountain where the atmospheric pressure is light the potatoes will not cook in the open vessel the rules increase the pressure of the surface of the liquid rate for the temperature which boils the decrease of the pressure or the temperature and then it boils 120 back motion eccentric strap with the broken if the broken um, motion eccentric strap with the broken with the blade was coupled with the forward motion blade with the long bolt with the could engine with the run backwards with its clone steam but it's first to explain the action of the trouble over this as on this valve Answer in the back mo motion of the centric strap with the broken with the blade with the connect with the forward motion strap with the long bolt as state with the blade with the same length of the engine of the reverse on the lever pack is put on the back motion with the disabled side would be working steam in the forward motion while the other side with the working back motion in order to get in the engine black under the conditions would be necessary to slip the forward motion eccentric around to the position of opposite of the, of the back up that would be only the way that you could work, work the steam in the both motions in both directions using the both sides of, uh, of the engine. All right, 130, 121, temperature of three sheets and temperature of the water against them. Will the temperature of the sheets exceed the temperature of the water and constantly against it, and how much? All right, answer the temperature of the steam water of the total water is 200 pound pressure for 387.8 Fahrenheit, while the temperature of the fire box when the engine is working is 2,500 degrees to 350, 3,500 degrees. And admitted, but the water does not come in contact with the sheets at all times. The heat is absorbed by the water. Thin layer of steam prevents the water from coming in contact with them, and the time results crack with the burned fire box sheet. The water does not carry the heat away for the fast enough that the sheets will not absorb it with that. With it, Absorb it without damage, and hence the reason for the larger bridge of the flue sheet and the wider water space around the firebox on the higher pressure engines. 122 bypass valve, um, bypass valve on the LP side of the Shenandoah compound broken. Uh, Shenandoah um, um, compound broken. How would you look at the broken bypass valve of the low pressure side of the Shenandoah um, compound? How ready? How and how ready? It, how to remedy it? Remedy it? To locate a defective bypass valve on the low pressure for the side of the Shindaya two cylinder with the compound bottom place the engine on the upper quarter low pressure side reverse the lever in the forward motion close the separate exhaust valve placing a three-way cock in the compound position admitted with the seam cylinder if the blow occurs the exhaust effect would be in the forward and bypass valve if the blow occurs with the lever of the back motion engine in the same position defect would be in the bypass valve back of the bypass bypass valve. 123 the bypass bypass valve on the HP side of the Shindaya compound broken he w how would you look locate a broken bypass valve on the high side um high pressure side of the Shenandoah compound and see how would you how to remedy it? So again, a defective bypass valve on the high pressure side of the of the valve of the same core for the low pressure side, except within the case of the separate exhaust valve. Placing the three-way cock in a similar position to blow of the bro broken bypass valve can be easily extinguished from the blows the blow out blows of the count with the heating very strong. One only occurring during one of the stroke position of the piston. For example, if the blow occurs during the forward stroke, the defect would be in the forward valve. The best way to remedy the remove of the bypass valve the EM is casing from the side of the cylinder and cover the both openings with a thin copper sheet of iron gasket replaced the cape by the casing. 
124 bypass the main position valve. So how would you tell um, a broken bypass valve for the main piston valve? Answer. To distinguish between the broken piston valve and the defective bypass valve would be placing the engine on the quarter of the defective side and by moving the reverse lever the seam could be prevented with the blowing into the exhaust port. Would include that there are nothing wrong with the valve but in this case the reverse lever would be very never, never, near the center of the quadrant dependent upon the, whether the, or not the valve had ex exhaust clearance. 125. The centric straps broken off on over, over the flanges. Uh, flanges. What could be done if the forward or the backward motion eccentric strap should be broken? Break off the flanges on both sides. And the, ram, the rather unusual occurrence and the safety thing, the thing to do in the case of the kind would be to take the engine down on the side and handle it into the same as you would a broken strap that was in the eccentric strap next to the box and that was broken with the journal. Um, Broken in the judgment that could be bring with you into the train and the terminal with a further delay with a consequential damage that it would be exercised the good judgment on the part of the, to do so, but we'll give the answer for the question. Only safe thing to do is would be to take her down on the side. 126. The course of steam from the boiler to the stack. Will you raise the steam of the locomotive from the dome of the stack to give me the exact names of all the pipes and the passages for the steam that goes through? Answer. Steam of the generator, the water absorbing the heat of the flu of the firebox sheet with the rise of the water with the dome while the throttle is open. The entrance of the throttle box of the steam pipe is carried through the dry pipe and is to a nigger headed where it is branched with the steam pipe the leading of the each steam shaft of each of the passage um, known as surrounding the valve of the offset if an outside emission with the filling of the chamber between the end of the piston valve and the inside of the emission when the port with the opening with the valve the entry of the steam port leading to the cylinder exerting the pressure on the piston to the end of the stroke will the valve uncover the port with the exhaust steam and the cylinder escape through the port which is entered into the exhaust cavity then the exhaust passage in the exhaust pipe through the nozzle tip on up through the stack of the atmosphere 127 piston of saddle pin related to the line. Why is the line block not put in the center of the link? I understand it is, is, is not. As I understand it, it's not. Answer, we presume they refer to the saddle pin with the setback of the center of the leak. We understand the length of the main rod, the distance from the center of the actual center of the crosshead, where the crosshead is in the middle of the stroke. Then it's raised to equal the length of the main rod. With the, if it's described in the article, it will ensure, inter inter intersect with the tire with the circumference, uh, circumference with the wheel forward with the vertical line drawn with the center of the ax axle. Indicating the, well, with the wheel travels farther than the crosshead travels than the half stroke of the back center of the half and to the half stroke that does from the half stroke to the forward center and the back to the half stroke. The do is the angularity of the main rod increases the length of the main rod. Um, main rod decreases the difference to greater of the short main rod from the, than the long one. The imperfections thus introduced and the main rod of the impair of the valve motion to the overcome and to obtain equality with the cutoff of the both end of the cylinder. The saddle pin is set back with the center of the length. The amount is usually determined by the result of the experiment difference in motion. All right, 128. Changing the eccentric direct motion engine. Will the direct engine, direct motion stationary engine, will the valve having a lapping or lead run eccentric as to then move exactly halfway around the shaft? If the answer to the question you claim the engine will not run, I claim that the engine of the valve has a very small amount of lap and lead, but will run eccentric and has moved halfway around on the shaft of the roof. The valve will be bad out, bad, badly out of the square, and the engine will be working against herself to a certain extent, but if the engine was held off the center at one a given start, she will run um, as the engine I will, will uh, with a valve having a large amount of lead. I have experimented with a small engine with a, in the way I've described and I've known that the engine will run having valve with having a small amount of lap and lead. Answer. The eccentric is of advanced wave of, of the pinion amount of the lead with the lap, lap, amount of the lap and lead. With the give the lead opening with the valve with the ha having the lap and lead with the, by turning the eccentric half of the valve around the shaft back of the steam port. Opening the steam would be admitted with behind the piston and the engine would not run. If, uh, if the eccentric was changed, advancing the wave of the, from the pinion with the amount of the lap and the lead of the engine would run with the opposite direction. Following the rule generally applies when the valve rod and the eccentric rod move in the same different direction. The eccentric is ahead of the pin, the angle between the pin and the eccentric 
which would have been 90 degrees plus. Angles advance fish, which would la um, be the lap of the lead. But this rule good, holds good for the engines to run in either direction. You do not state how much lap and lead engine had you when you made the experiment. And if any of it were in a climb to think of the engine running at, at, at all, all, all does, at, at all was due to momentum of a flywheel after the heads and started with the engine called the, by the her work to ch um, as mentioned against her herself. 129 number of steam emission for the revolutions. I'm asking a two engine. Um, two, I'm, I was asking two engineers the other day how many times how many times the steam was emitted with the cylinder at one revolution with the wheels. One side they argued with me that the steam was emitted with the four times. Now I say twice. Now I say twice. The valve opens just before beginning with a stroke and emits the steam. The position drives it out over the other end while doing and so, doing so. The arch of the valve opens for the exhaust and the other end of the cylinder. Now the crank of the valve is four center is at forward center and the body of the center cat is moved with the strap of the rod link with the rocker arm with the valve seat the valve stem to the um, forward radius which has again opened the admission with the cylinder drive of the piston back to the center or now the centric attached to the axle the bow of the um, the bow then how are the uh, sorry then how are the going um, going to emit the seam four times in one revolution with the wheels Answer. Steam is emitted within the cylinder each for the end of the stroke of this twice in each revolution of the wheel. The eccentric attached with the max will must makes one revolution. The wheel makes three rev while while and the wheel makes a revolution. Through the rocker arm connection, the centric rod moved to the valve of the forward of the back of the center of the valve seat with the submitting uh emitting steam to the front of the back of the port leading to the cylinder of the steam as valve of the piston, end of the stroke with the valve that opens for the port allows it to escape through the exhaust cavity pipe of the atmosphere, therefore you were right. 130. Disconnecting the consolidated engine. Engineer running the consolidated engine is centric and not on the same axle as the wheel of the main pipe. Main, sorry, the main pin broken with the main pin with the left side of the disconnecting the valve stem with the side of the hook and down with the side of the rods with the both sides seating the tight hanging the engine 20 miles into the terminal when the holster and took up the engine to put in her own house uh, further damage within your opinion of the engine disconnect there properly should be engineer bolster had held responsible when the con consequence of chain damage damage. Answer, it is our opinion that the engine was not properly disconnected by the engineer by taking down the side rods if left uh, while the wheels, the axles with the control of the valve gear, the mission exhaust the stream of the cylinders independent of the position of the pin, piston on the main wheel for the region for the taking down with the rods with the opposite side of the if the one side of the quarter on the other side would be in the center of the wheel with the connector on one side of the rod only would be liable to break down the pin with the start to remove the opposite direction but in this case where the engine was only working steam on one side of the side rod with the side on the side where the lineup would should be Stop in the center with the wood have the pinch and moved until the winds were both below an axle sufficient distance and ensure the revolving in the right direction. Therefore, they would be not dan no danger from leaving the rods up on the side to come in. It could look it looks like uh, to us that the engine wear was not only in big luck to reach the terminal under the above conditions, but put the company to additional expenses, set the trap, caught the holster um, company holster. All right, 131 boiler sheets. What kind of what, when, will you kindly illustrate the outside of the sheet of the boiler show with the sheets and call with the um, throat sheet? In the illustration here, within the um, one represents the smoke box two, and the extension front two. The first ring of the boiler three. Second ring and slope sheet with the incline forming the wagon t four. And the third ring of the dome. Um, the third ring of the dome sheet. For the third ring of the dome sheet, these parts of the barrel um, barrel of the of the boiler sheet five of the sheet of the connection underside of the barrel barrel of the boiler outside shell of the firebox usually termed in the throw sheets six of the outside sheet with the firebox seven of the back boiler sheet and or head and eight is the roof sheet. Firebox consists of the back sheet with the flue sheet two side sheets the broken uh, crown sheet front flue sheet is next to the smoke box the lower edge of the inside outside shell of the firebox are riveted to the iron ring called the mud ring. 132 pound of trailers over several of the other um, e -A -E 2A class engines equipped with the trailers were found the pound, we found a pound or kick in the trailer that can a uh, content that you cannot be in the last motion of the trailer box that would cause a pound this kind will some of the uh, some of the men may say it's a uh, framing thumping on the trailer box do we weak due, due to weak springs others claim the right back to driving box on the three or four engines that have in mind all the pound on the right side 
Answer, the only pound that could be come from the trailer would be, you say, the box striking the frame, the pedestal beneath the pedestal striking the spring due to the spring not having, having, having enough to carry the weight with the rider it has behind the several engines that have received new springs to overcome the trouble of the similar class engines. It would be, well... To make the examination assertion, assertion just before striking a curve, the marks will show whether the parts are striking and the remedy will be suggested. All right, 133, grease lubrication. On the last type of the engine, there would, we had a pin lubrication with the grease in the cup and instead of the oil. Some of the engineers um, contended with the two, three turns of compression with the plug and insufficient. Others stated to screw down them until they, you see the groove grease show around the collar pin. And I would like to hear the, from this question. Answer, if the brass, if I had been taken down with a good with the practice screw down with the plug until the grief of the show developed on the collar, that you may sure the pen with the properly lubricated then starting out. But if the brass has not been reduced to the taking down with the pressure exerted with the one or two turns of the plug is sufficient lubricated with the plane of the 100 to 200 miles, least, less grease will be wasted in the cup of the will be not um, required filling, filling in so often. Brass results are obtained with the, when the plugs are screwed down just because before the leaving the terminal of stored up engine will feed the grease of the pin and the turn of the plug when it will force out the piece of the grease thoroughly one quarter to three eighths of an inch hole between about six to eight inches long. If the plugs are screwed down several hours before starting with a trip of the energy of the grief of the cup of the spam before it's needed one or two turns over the plug before leaving it will give you better service 134 transmission bar versus the long stand, valve stem um we have the class of engine division short with the essential grab with the connection with the transmission bar the division of the temper terminate with the pacific type of the locomotive with equipped with the short essential grab with the long valve stems i have listened to many arguments on the speed of the two different type of the engines i say that the engine with the long valve stem can acquire the same speed the engine with the transmission bar can and b say um that it sh uh, that says that she can't and know who know who is right Answer, if the valve gear and the valve side with the same port with the passenger length of the essential rod are identical with the same other only difference with the one engine transmission bar, there has not. The valves in the set the same with the both engines, same distribution, same with the now opinion would run with equally as far as other. The valve gear simply give to the valve at the moment with the emission exhaust at the seam and the two the front from the cylinders like engines only with the difference between the friction of the gear and the case. 135, the Allen ported valve. Describing an Allen ported valve with the advantage of the claim by the same. Answer, the Allen ported valve similar to the plane D, um, but in the supplementary scheme of the pa port with the passage above the exhaust cavity seal, the illustration is in the advantages are admitted to the scheme of the same cylinder scheme, the port with the both side of the valve at the same time will permit the smaller amount of the lead, lead, lead opening, uh, lead opening, but the higher D valve of the Allen valve will give the twice as much opening the mission scheme of the short off cutoff of the valve, ordinary valve with the valve, variable desire with the high speed server that is open the scheme port emission with the clove of the exhaust twice as twice the rate of the D valve. 136, the bypass valve. What is a bypa bypass valve and what is its use? And if the bypass valve is used with a similar engine, it has a position valve with the use to prevent excessive pressure with the cylinder due to the compression of the other cover of the construction of the valve between the same cavity and cylinder steam port with the throttle of the opening of the steam of the chamber hold with the bypass valve to the seat. When the steam pressure in the cylinder greater than in the steam chamber, the excessive pressure on seat of the valve then establish with the communication between the cylinder and the steam chamber, the relieving the pressure, preventing damage to the cylinder head. They're going to also, they're used on one on piston engine for the end to cover the piston valve and not live for the seat over the slide valve due to the under like under like conditions under like conditions 137 formation scale and flues where where where, where we are usually using water with the artisan artisan usually well in the start st stationary boiler large quality of the scale forming forms the flues will um please publish the preparation of vang the flues the scaling and one that could be for the cleaning of the kerosene oil will make it a, um them leak Answer. So, soda ashes mu uh, must universal clear of all the judicial frequently blowing out of the boiler may prevent the formation of the scale of the flues. If then you are able to obtain treated water from the boiler, analyze the water which, um, should be made. The compound can be prepared to prevent the formation of the scale. Kerosene should not um, cause fl um, flues to, flues, flues to weak, fl leak. 138. King side of the rod. Uh, the king, the side rods on the six-wheel connected engine. Why should be? Why should the side rods of the six-wheel connected engine be connected? Um, keyed up from the main connection first. 
To ensure the free movement of the brasses with the pins of the main connection be, um, being keyed properly with the front and back end of the side rod keyed first mainly um, connection last, this, the, um, there would be liability putting the train either in front or the back of the section uh, section of the rods. Should you attempt to key the back main with the connection of the brass to brass, if having the brass free on the pins, you would be able to go over them again. Solid and in, 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 in rods and displacing the tra strap and key of the modern engines. 139, broken stem intercepting valve. If you have the broken stem of the intercepting valve of the two cylinder Shenandoah combine, what would you do? Answer, the answer. a break in the interception valve means the running of the engine simply after the valve is broken. To allow this easily, it can be done with the clamping off the steam rod, but if not, remove the head of the insert of the block of the block by holding the valve and in place to replace the head. 140. Broken driving um, spring with a hanger on the Shenandoah compound. If you break the driver, if you break a driving uh, driving spring a hanger, the spring with the Shenandoah compound, well, then what would you do? Answer. Are right, the boiler frame the truck with the driving the wheel for the same compound? Simple the engine. The only difference being in the arrangement of the cylinder piston crosshead valves. Broken down, the nature should be handled in a similar manner. And in order to explain answer the question correctly, would be required a description of the spring ring and type of the engine. 141. A broken engine truck equalizer consolidated engine. If you broke the long equalizer on the end of the engine truck, the consolidated engine would be, what would you do? Move and loose the broken piece of the block between the driving box and frame both sides as you carry the frame rigidly in the front box. 142. Broken hanger and back end of the long equalizer. Equalizer. If you broke the back hand, broke a hanger on the back end of the low, uh, long equalizer, what would you do? And it's remove the broken hanger and chain back the end of the local um, long truck equalizer cross equalizer. 143. 143. Broken tire and consolidated engine. If you were to broke bro, broke a rear tire on the same old uh, same class engine, how would you fix it on the bringing it in? Answer: If it was on the front tire, what would you, you would be run bo um, broken wheel ro um, up on a wedge, bringing it up to about normal position, remove the oil cellar and fill with the block and its block itself in place. Using um, if it in block in place, well, using the piece over the tie, leaving it about the flush with the bottom of the driving box, and then fill the space between the bottom of the driving box and the block of the pedestal block with another block. Put some of the well oiled packing space around the journal to lubricate them, and then put in them in the, in the iron block between the top of the frame and the spring saddle as so they take the weight of the, off the box and then cut, uh, cut off the drive box if the main tire would be blocked in the same manner if, um, but if found with the spring would be not carried the load but would be locked the end of the equalizer not to be break open be, uh, to the broken open instead of the blocking between the frame and the uh, spring saddle all right, 144, broken eccentric strap of the forward gear. If you break the eccentric strap of the forward gear, how would you disconnect? Answer, if you're going to back up at the terminal, would you have the long bolt to secure back with the end of the forward motion eccentric strap with the back up mo motion strap? Use both, stra both sides. Would the bulk blue block link would prevent the possibility of reversing and the engine would, under, the, under these conditions, it would go ahead and would remove the broken strap of the rod and link as a link hanger and let the link ride on the link block. When Would it disconnect the valve and stem the clamp and leave the one port with one sufficient let enough steam into the cylinder to prevent damage for the proceed usual manner without taking down the main rod. 145, Wilson High Pressure Balance Valve. We, we have the class of an engine having called the E2A. They are equipped with a Wilson valve instead of the Richardson. They have the sharp and quickly exhaust, um, have a sharp quickie, quick exhaust, not like the other look ones caught with the valve that having the separate exhaust cavity would like to hear that you, uh, would you, would like to hear from you, you on this. And the sharp quick sound of the exhaust is in the case of the cause b by the double exhaust port in the valve would be letting the steam out and the two ports opening inside of one. 146 leaky check injector steam valve how it may be determined whether the check valve or the steam valve leaking on the injector one answer um, if the steam valve leaks then it will show the steam that only with the overflow of the waste pipe in the injector but if the check valve is stuck open leak of the water will come out with the steam indicating the leak is in the check of the open the frost frost check hot Frost crack on the branch pipe at the temperature will indicate the check of the giving it with the trouble. Steam valves are located above the water with the level of the check valves below the water level in the boiler. 147, the freezer. Freezing of the injector waste pipe. Explain how would you prevent the waste pipe from freezing, either would the injector where it was working or shutting off. The answer, open the overflow valve occasionally to prevent the pipe from freezing. This will allow the steam to go through the keep and warm. 
Uh, 148, number of the exhaust during the revolution. How often did the ordinary locomotive exhaust seen during a revolution of the driving wheels at the wheel? At what points did the exhaust take place? Angel the locomotive team has the each end of the each cylinder only once every every revolution of the driver, therefore exhaust will take in place. When the position is nearly end of the stroke, the two exhausts of the right side of the taking plate from the crosshead of the near the front of the back center of the two exhausts on the left side take plate for the crosshead on the right side of the near half quarter stroke. Alright, 149. Position of the centric relative of the crank pin with the position of the shaft of the width should be eccentric with the relative of the crank pin direct motion engine with the indirect motion. The answer, with the direct motion of the engine inside the emission with the eccentric the of the right angle of the point with the emission advanced over the pin of the mount with the lab of the lead with the valve of the direct motion with the outside of the mission, the eccentric of the set with the right angle of the pin advanced way with the pin of mount of the lab of the lead with the valve with the indirect motion engine outside of the emission, the eccentric of the set of the right angle of the pin advanced toward the pin of mount with the lab of the lead with the lead valve with the indirect motion inside of the motion emissions, the eccentric are set with the right angle of the pin advanced away from the pin of the right mount of the lab of the lead of the valve. 150 miles run to a pint, a pint of oil. How many miles should an engine run to one pint of oil, valve oil, engine oil, and how much would you how would you oil the engine into the effect of the greatest economy? Answer: Just how many miles the engine should run to this point of the valve oil or engine oil depends on the class of the engine, class of the surface, how many of the bearings are lubricated with the oil, and if the driving boxes are equipped with grease sellers and grease is used on the pins. The proper way to determine the fair amount of the oil you for the service would be to check with the performance sheet that gives drive to keep them with the shell above the average. By doing so, you will, as, as a rule, have sufficient oil to keep the bearings cool with the oil, the engine, the economy, the necessary to first provide with yourself with a suitable oiler, large enough cans to hold the supply of them, the trip, keep them clean from oil, um, free and from leaks so that um, see whether that you will get the amount of the oil and you are charged if the engine is type of that you can oil without moving the play for the engine so that the cross head and are opposite with each other as near of the back of the cylinder heads as possible. This will usually enable the, you to reach the shoe for the wedge the driving box eccentric etc. both sides. If you can do this the oil side oil on one side at a time the placing the engine forward with the center of the right side of the hook lever the clock Clever back of the commands for the right back with the driving box, oiling shoe the wedge, and also the main oil pocket of the driving box. Get the oil well over the toward, toward, toward the inside of the box, but not distributing the sponging on the top of the driving box to ensure the oil getting to the part of the driver journal with the most exposed dirt ash at the ash pan. The hub of the wheel protects the outside of the box. The bearing gets to the dry on the inside first, then can go forward to the next and oil the same manner. The oil eccentric link motion rocker boxes back end of the valve of the stem. Open feeders on the guides, but do not fill the guide. Guide cup, guide cup so that you full that you, they will run f over. Oil swabs and piston valve of the oil engine truck with will go to the left side, oiling back of the driver box and then move with the engine forward, center of the left side, leaving the lever in the full forward gear. This will give you the chance to oil back of the motion and eccentric arrive with the connection with the um with the bottom of the link if you were unable to um reach the um before when you were oil back of the back wedge on the left side of the R U R the filler the lubricator of the oil and air pump of the valves and cylinders to get the oil best results, keeping the water at the proper level in the boiler at the time. The valve slight crack to open the preventing of the vacuum being formed of the cylinder while the drifting will ensure the good oil recorded um, to the those of the practice uh, they should all should all uh, shut off all the light leaders and guide cups the valve and the piston rods that arrive at the terminal all right that leaves us on 151 um we're going to cut the tape